Hi everyone. Here we have a best CP35 insert. And today we're just making this little video and just going to show you, you know, how to replace a switch if a switch needs to be placed and how to get up into the switch assembly um, where everything's located. If you by chance have a switch that has gone bad, what you need to do is, first of all, most importantly, make sure power is turned off to the unit. To get at the switch, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need a little Allen wrench key. And there's a hole up on the knob around the perimeter. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that Allen key and there's a little set screw in there. And you're going to loosen that set screw and pull that knob off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right, and the knob slips off. Oh, this is what the inside of the knob looks like. I don't know if you can see the hole, but there is the hole where the set screw is located. Once the knob is taken off, we're going to get into the light panel assembly. And first, you must remove the filters. And these are baffle filters. If this was mounting up to the cabinet, what you would do is you'd grab onto the handle you're going to pull towards you when it's mounted and pull the bottom downward and those filters will come out. The spring's at the front of the unit. Once the filters are out, there's going to be three screws and I'm going to tilt this unit up and hopefully you'll be able to see um, what we're going to do to get this whole front off of here, there's a screw here, and there's a screw here, and there's a piece of band steel that's bent over that holds us in place. What you're going to do, this is a quick connect, motor quick connect, you just squeeze on the, the connector and just pull, and that'll disconnect that from that unit. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to... Loosen the screw here. And there is one. And the second screw here. Should be there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this piece of steel straight. And if you take a look, this unit should pop right out of here, just like so. So now you have the whole panel down. What you would do to replace that switch, there is a nut on the inside of this. You'd loosen that nut, and this switch would pull off from the inside here. And the same thing goes for the, the fan switch. It's, it's the same way. Um, it's pretty easy. This is a pretty easy unit to work on if you would need to replace the housing Again, this is a quick connect you would squeeze this it would come unplugged from the harness if you're replacing This whole assembly you would grab onto it. You'd turn it and It would pop right out. I would be able to pull it out because it'd be disconnected um, So very simple. I hope this short video helps Thanks.